Now, I've showed you a lot of my class videos with riders that have a very high fear level. Take a look at this young lady. This is Melissa. She's only been riding for about three years, but she has a very low fear level. This is her first time through this exercise. She goes into the 28-foot U-turn. She doesn't quite make it, but it doesn't bother her. She's going to get better, and she's going to get better really fast because she has a very low fear level. When I say fear level, we're going to go from a scale from 1 to 10, 10 being the highest fear level. I put her fear level at about 2. She doesn't care. She's going to do it. She's got determination, and she's going to ride as good as the guys or better. Now at the third time through, I believe she makes this U-turn. By the way, those cones in the slow cone weave are 14 feet apart, and the U-turn is 27 feet between the three parking spaces, and she just did that in about 23 feet. I've seen guys ride who, for 50 years that can't do that turn that fast. And to show it wasn't dumb luck, she does it again. One more time, right into the U-turn, which so many people fear, but she's using the techniques. Her throttle isn't perfect, her head and eyes aren't perfect, but it doesn't matter. She's gonna get better each time. Now here's Donna demonstrating the offset cone weave, and she always demonstrates it perfectly. We usually do this demonstration at least twice. You don't need to see both of them here, but she's just showing the riders what it should look like. Now here's Melissa's first time through, and it's not like she's some kind of prodigy. She's gonna make a lot of mistakes the first time, but each time she goes through, she gets better and better. She's going too slow, not leaning the bike enough, very common stuff. The brain is always saying, go really slow, go really slow. The brain is lying to you. The quicker you go through this, the easier it's going to be. She's almost stopped, but the good news is she's able to do that without putting a foot down. And she is just determined. She reminds me of the honey badger. If you've never seen the honey badger video on YouTube, you should watch it. It's pretty funny. In fact, I'm going to give you a little snippet of that video at the very end because that's what she reminds me of with her determination. Here's only the second time through the exercise, and already she's improved at least 100%, maybe more. Now, the other riders in the class were much more experienced, and they did very well. In fact, one of them was her husband, excellent rider, but I wanted to focus mainly on her during this video so you could see what determination and a low fear level will do. We've now moved on to the intersection. By the way, this is only an hour into the class. Donna's demonstrating it as usual. Does a great job of that. And that's Melissa watching her intently, paying attention. By the way, we have it set up now at 24 feet. We didn't even start it. Normally we start at 27, go down to 24, but we went right to 24 feet because I felt all the riders in the class could do it, including this fairly new rider. Three years is, is nothing. The only training she's ever had was from the MSF. And here she screws it up. Well, watch her turn her head now, and she goes right to the green cone as she should. 90% of riders would never recover from that screw up in the first turn. Yes, she's making mistakes. She's going too slow, but she is determined to get it. Hits the cone, she just laughs it off. She doesn't care. Second time through, major improvement. Now she rides horses, and I, I said maybe that might have something to do with the low fear level because you gotta control a horse, which I think is more difficult because the horse has a brain and it could do what it wants despite whatever instructions you give the horse, whereas the motorcycle would do exactly what you tell it to do. After three or four times through the intersection, it's time to put a little pressure on her. We added some circles, and I put two bikes in behind her, her husband and another rider. 
and a lot of people fold under this kind of pressure, but not her. I told her, don't pay any attention to the guys behind you. Just run it with a circle and a half in two of the legs. Don't look at them, don't think about them, just do your job and they'll follow. She's an excellent listener. So it's time now to put a little bit more pressure on her. And I know some of you out there might be saying, that's cruel, why do you do that? Well, I do it because I know when a rider has potential, they could be pushed to get even better, even quicker. That's my job, to know exactly what the rider is capable of and what the rider's not capable of. By the way, the motorcycle she's on for the YouTube experts out there, because I know you're going to say, well, she's stretching out too far to reach the handlebars, and it's got forward controls. She should have a smaller bike. She should, yeah, this is the bike she has. This is the bike she's going to learn to ride. It's not like there's a stable of bikes on the side there, or 250s or something. This is her bike. This is what she wants to ride. And it's my job to teach her to ride that particular motorcycle. Here's the, the exercise that scares 95% of the riders, the snowman. The first circle is 30 feet. The second circle to the right is 26 feet. And then the last one is 24 feet to the left. And why it scares so many riders is because there are a lot of cones close together. And if you look at those cones, well, you're going to probably hit them or knock one over. Instead, if you should only look at the cones with the green tip, it's so much easier. Now, she doesn't make it the first time through. People rarely make it the first time through. She ain't about to give up, though. I'm telling you, this girl is the honey badger of motorcycle riders. She goes for the last one, the 24 foot to the left. And almost, but not quite. But she doesn't care. She's going to do it again. It takes many riders 10 or 12 times through this before they actually get it without error. I think it took her uh, three or four times through. But she was determined. There was no quit in this girl. the honey badger of motorcycle riders. The honey badger has been referred to by the Guinness Book of World Records as the most fearless animal in all the animal kingdom. It really doesn't give a shit.